With the holidays fast approaching, people are deciding if they'll get together with their loved ones this year or not. Public health officials are sharing how you and your family can stay safe from the coronavirus this season. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks joining us now live from Salt Lake City with more. Haley? Emily, if you're making plans ahead of the holiday season, public health officials say there's ways to safely enjoy this time of year while also protecting your public health. White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci warns coronavirus cases remain high across the country this holiday season. We unfortunately still have a dynamics of uh, infection in the community of about 70,000 new cases per day. In Utah, state epidemiologist Dr. Alicia Nolan says cases are much lower this year when compared to last year at this time. Looking at last year, we had three really big peaks, right? We had Thanksgiving, we had Christmas, and then we had New Year's. So we're, we're definitely lower than yet last year. And I think we can really thank vaccines for doing that. And two new polls show Americans plan to spend the holidays in different ways. One suggests 72 percent of people will celebrate only with those in their household. And another other polls suggest 63 percent of people will get together like they did pre-pandemic. Well, I think we all always sign up what we're bringing for holidays, right? For Thanksgiving, are you bringing the turkey? Are you bringing the gravy, potatoes? Make sure you're not the one bringing COVID. Dr. Nolan says indoor get-togethers increase the risk of coronavirus transmission. She, along with Dr. Fauci, encourages people to get the shot ahead of the holidays. But when you're with your family at home, goodness, enjoy it with your parents, your children, your grandparents. There's no reason not to do that. And if people are not yet vaccinated, Dr. Nolan is sharing some ways to try and keep people safe and healthy. It might be something reasonable to try to sort of keep people a little bit more space and have a little more uh, open area so that there's not as much uh, air exchange between direct people. Now, with colder weather and indoor get-togethers, Dr. Nolan tells me she's concerned that we could see yet again another surge in cases. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News.